Maya, tell me, uh, Senator, what are your impressions about this school? Yeah, so I, I was really, you know, looking into um, different kinds of uh, educational programs and I came across this uh, quest to learn, which is the, the approach is teaching kids through gaming. So, um, yeah, so we had the, the chance to, to um, learn more about it and to actually see the kids who were using this program. And it's so very interesting no? because um, you can see how how the intention is to motivate the kids to learn but um, in, a, in, a, in a way I guess that is more engaging to them and, and we were told that studies show that you know a child is very focused when they're playing a game and yet when they come to school a lot of them lose interest so a while ago we were observing the children it was in their free play time and they were going through um, um, their computer and they were and they were sixth graders and I was looking at what they were doing and definitely above my 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 comprehension no? they were one girl was tracking the, um, the, the movement of, of an object that she created and she was manipulating the, the surface and the speed and um, yeah what was explained to us is the, the children are given an, an objective or a mission and um, throughout the whole lesson they will then on their own realize that they need to understand these math concepts or science concepts to be able to fulfill the mission. So it's so very interesting. I mean, even on their wall, um, there was like a, uh, I guess one subject was their civil war. And there was just like a one paragraph about how if you got wounded during the civil war, you're doomed, you know, because there's no antibiotics. And so it's just one paragraph. And then all the kids scribbled their comments. No? So they were saying that in this school, the kids are really problem solvers. They're very into technology. But the interesting thing also is that it was emphasized that although they use technology, it's not the be all and end also. It's not as if every time they're studying something, they have to use technology. It's just that it's available and, and they help the, teach, the kids decide when it's important to use it and when they shouldn't use it. So, wow, very interesting. So, do you think you could, this would work in the Philippines? Um, there are limitations. I mean, obviously this is a publicly funded um, program and um, I, we probably don't have the, the kind of resources they do. Like they were saying that they have one is to one um, computer, no? And uh, that's a little bit difficult to achieve. But I definitely believe that the approach, which mm -hmm. is gaming, could be useful even in, in smaller contexts. And it's something I'd like to work with. They were saying that, that the teachers have, every Wednesday the kids go home early and the teachers have uh, two hours of training to get, you know, to get um, to keep abreast with, mm -hmm. with the programs. And, um, you know, it just goes to show that you strengthen the teachers and they pass it on to the kids. So I think what could happen, which I'd like to, which I'd like to introduce to um, schools back home, is to be able to work with Dep Ed and create, you know, just even a few games, um, and to see how this can be incorporated in. In me, for me, if you ask me, I would do it for science and math because you know it's a topic that kids t tend to um, uh, have some um, resistance to. In fact, I ask if they have a gender um, ratio that they try to follow, and we were told that yeah, they do, but the tendency is they're more boys who are interested, but. Um, my, my, I've, I've done a lot of research on gender and yeah, that is a problem. No? So we, we need to get the young kids, both boys and girls, interested as early as possible. Okay. So this afternoon you are going to uh, an art and design uh, high yeah, school in Manhattan. Yeah. What do you expect to find, uh, there, I, I, find out there? Again, I expect to be pleasantly surprised. No? I mean, my, we, are, we are always limited by our personal you know, experiences. And um, I've, I've, again, I've been studying a lot about the, uh, the need to put in more creativity in our day-to-day -day activities uh, and including our studies. So that is the purpose of my visit. This was recommended as one of the art schools that really prepares the students from a young age to to um, you know hone their creativity so that they can use it in whatever profession that they will pursue. So even if they don't pursue a profession in the arts, even if they have a very traditional profession such as lawyering or accounting, which is my profession, I'm a lawyer, they introduce that, that creativity so that you can be more creative in your work, which we're told is really uh, the wave of the future because um, that is where we're heading. No more and more personal designs, more more humanity, you know, more 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 um, social service oriented, and you need to be creative to, to do that well. Okay, thank you very much. Okay.